edgy 14-year-old Hoi 4 players going back in time to help the Nono Germans win WW2. They will make Germany lose faster. Ah, oh, finally a good ending. That's how I play Hearts of Iron 4. Select Germany and immediately surrender within the first year. Although every time I play Hearts of Iron 4, that tends to be what happens. Italians in WW2. Meanwhile, Italians in New York during WW2. You would think the Italians in Italy would be buffed, but for some reason the Italians in New York just super OP. Bavarian Shrek isn't real, he can hurt you. Meanwhile, Bavarian Shrek. This literally looks like my sleep paralysis demon. Why does Bavaria feel the need to make a Shrek anyways? How long will it take before they vote him as the next Prime Minister? Rabies having a 99.9 .9 repeating percent fatality rate. Meanwhile, some random Peruvian's immune system. Wait, it is possible? The nation of Peru has figured it out. I feel like all of a sudden, everyone has kind of been just terrified by rabies, including myself. How easy it is to get rabies and then just have no idea you have it. Obviously, up until it's too late. Guess I'm gonna have to move to Peru to protect myself. This is how all the Barbenheimer memes looks to us, says Japan. Meanwhile, the US looking at these images. Do you realize how insensitive they actually are to us? Meanwhile, the US just still staring and laughing at the images. We're having fun! I have been hearing a lot of this talk, apparently from Twitter, that Japanese Twitter is upset. But to be honest, I feel like it's only like one or two people. I don't think it's the entire nation of Japan, but, but yeah, either way, the US is just like, this is hilarious. Something big is coming. In 2020, we had Doom Crossing. In 2023, we had Barbenheimer. What will be next in 2026? Well, if the first combination were video games and the second were movies, third edition's gotta be like something to do with music, right? I'm thinking Despacito 2. My mom, when she sees that lasagna is on the menu. Ooh, Mexican food, my favorite. Unfortunately, mom here has trouble identifying romance languages, but hey, at least she didn't say Chinese food or something. The Medusa head on Amazon. One of the reviews I didn't know I you could actually buy one of these. Actually from uh Jinxi Huang. Ah, the ancient oh, no. Chinese uh, leader uh, from, 200, <laughs> from 243, 243 BCE. BCE. Uh, I remember uh, him. And he just said, he liked he Mercury said a lot. <laughs> and uh, he provided these photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So wow. So that's how they created that. It all makes sense now. Best $50 purchase on Amazon ever. For years, we never knew how they could have possibly made the terracotta army located in China. But man, with this simple $100 purchase, he was able to do it instantly. Kind of makes it not that impressive anymore since we knew it probably only took him like seven seconds. Mongols invading Japan with 4,400 ships and 140,000 men. Then there's the Mongols after a storm that oofed half of those men. They were sailing over to those Japanese islands pretty happy, but uh, yeah, the journey home was probably a quiet one. Best part about this is it literally happened twice. So you know it just wasn't meant to be. Maybe burning Vietnam wasn't completely a bad idea, as I'm assuming this person's grandfather is holding up quite possibly an alien species. Maybe this was actually what we were trying to do all along. The North Vietnamese or Viet Cong being communist, that uh, was whatever. We was actually just trying to stop those giant centipedes from completely taking over. This literally looks like something out of that King Kong scene where they're fighting a bunch of insects. It's pretty much horrified me for life. The morbidly depressed 16 year old Argentinian farm worker harvesting vegetables to be shipped and packaged by morbidly depressed 15 year old Chinese factory workers to be shipped and sold to morbidly depressed 19 year old American retail workers. And the cycle continues as I walk in as the morbidly depressed purchaser. <laughs> the world always out here grinding. Oh boy, we have a checkmate here in chess as this knight is going to hop over and instantly wipe out the king. And the way that would look like translated into real life, um, it's something, something like that. I and mean, the king is literally surrounded by castles. I'm gonna just launch this one horse using his trebuchet and it's gonna hit its target perfectly. Meanwhile, in other news, 3% of Brits have never heard of the United States. This is coming out of a poll asking, who do Brits see as forces for good or bad? And here we have the United States. Uh, Brits are putting in their opinion. I don't really care. What is this? Three? That dark green category has never heard of this group. No, I know they don't teach us anything about geography in the US, but you too, Britain? Who was honestly listening to, is the United States good? And there's like thousands of people saying, who? I mean, maybe it's possible. I mean, if we take the 67.33 million people living in the UK right now, and we just kind of divide that by 0.3, which is 3%, that means that there is 
Wait, I did the math wrong. Try that again. Times 0 0.03. That means there's exactly uh, 2 million people live in the UK that do not know what the United States is. Clearly, uh, d d maybe they just have other priorities when it comes to the education system. I get it, I get it. When his name starts with a J and rhymes with one of the 50 states. You leave my boy Jassachusetts alone. He didn't hurt anyone. Love the new baby names coming out of the US as of recently. Jassachusetts, Jexus, Jalifornia. Jodaho. I love everyone trying here. Jolorado, San Francisco. <laughs> Uh, we could do cities, right? Georgia, man. It, it, I think that's got, like, I'm trying to actually think who it could be. Georgia, maybe. Ooh, seeing if this filter can guess my ethnicity. Uh, this girl got Greece. Uh, this man got also, uh... He's probably, well, I don't really know how he's gonna feel about this. Something tells me he's excited, though. Nuclear in popular culture. In Indiana Jones, uh, he really likes that refrigerator. In Fallout, in Stalker. Meanwhile, nuclear in reality, uh, it's, it's, it's done. It's over. Actually, wasn't sure the reference here until I saw the screwdriver. We're talking about the demon core. I'm still so fascinated by that story. Like, imagine just a flash of blue light. It hits you and you know, all right, I'm about to have a horrifying next seven days until I'm finally unalive. Yo, guys, this really do be the craziest trilogy of all time. We have The Hunger Games Part 1, The Hunger Games Part 2, and The Hunger Games Part Oppenheimer. Does someone need to copy strike? Christopher Nolan. This is looking way too similar. You honestly think a katana could slice through European plate armor with relative ease? Well, yes. <laughs> I have unfortunately heard this before actually in real life. It literally pains me. I feel like it's honestly hard for a lot of us to wrap our head around how unstoppable this kind of was. Like, can you defeat someone in a suit of armor? Of course. But it is not going to be easy. Maybe if you have like a catapult and throw a boulder at him. This dude's been waiting here for his McFlurry since 1786. Imagine that the ice cream machine broke for 250 years. Honestly, with one of my local McDonald's, that probably has been the case every time I go. The lactose intolerant person when I throw a dying neutron star at him. Huh, would you look at that? They've completely disintegrated, would have guessed. And here's something I didn't realize. Uh, people from Mexico and lactose intolerant people seem to have a whole lot of things in common. Couldn't be me. I'm built different. Ah, uh, a modern day version of this classic game from Russia. Set up your Spotify playlist with five different versions of I'm Blue Da Ba Di by Eiffel Tower 65, and then one is actually I'm Good by David Guetta. I'm honestly not brave enough to play this game. I feel like I'd ruin my entire life if I shuffled this wrong. Oh, luckily you can tell within the first second it is not the original. I swear, no one remembered this song until they finally brought it back in Iron Man 3. I'm saying Iron Man 3 revived that song. I felt like I was the only person that still remembered that jam. American city names? Chicago, New York, Detroit, and Atlanta. Meanwhile, Russian city City names. We're gonna translate to English here, obviously, because it's in Russian. We have birthplace of God. This, which is big rock. They give you a hint with this one because of the flag. This is called Crystal Goose. And then finally, what sounds to be an awesome genre of music, electric steel. And the flags go so well with all this stuff. Man, we can't even compete. It's not even a fair playing field. Evolution. Apes will evolve into humans, the most complex species. Meanwhile, also evolution. Yeah, this is one area where they definitely decided to make us infinitely worse. Why don't I have like giant gorilla teeth? I ask myself that question every day. Or why can't I just have gorilla strength? Did you know gorillas can bench apparently up to 20,000 pounds? The record for humans is only like 700 pounds. Okay, it's actually 4,000, but you know, close enough. History students in 2123, after remembering that the agreed point of civilization collapse was the oofing of Harambe. Oh, that's right. I remember hearing about that. Great, great grandpappy taught me all about him. I will not stop reviewing these memes until it is finalized. It's gonna continue to just pound that into people's heads. Things would have been so different. The Statue of Liberty when it was made versus the Statue of Liberty now. Really did go from like kind of a golden brown to just whatever this green thing is, but 
Okay, thanks, France. It's almost like they did that on purpose. When your Italian friend asks for your favorite ice cream and you say gelato, do you have the slightest idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm gelato does just mean ice cream. I now just realized I know three different types of way to say ice cream in three different languages. Gelato, halalo, bing chilling. The Japanese successfully tricking rich tourists into eating overpriced bland raw fish. I never really, uh, thought of that before. And now they explored this all across the world. What if we just told everyone to eat this fish without us having to cook it? Do you know how much that would save us in labor? I'm over here swinging my sword right now. I got arrows in my quiver right now, adventuring right now. I'm heroic as frick, man. I'm a warrior, man. Definitely know the feeling. This is how I wake up literally every day. No woman has all five. Number one, a job. Number two, an education. Number three, knows how to cook. Number four, a sword. Number five, a second sword. Ah, that's where you went wrong. You need a third. Actually, this is where I've gone wrong. I've only have one. Clearly, that's why no one's giving me attention out here. Yo, guys, what just happened to my Twitter? What the heck is this new app? Doesn't look as cool as all my other ones. A better question is, why isn't there a new Twitter theme Serbia app skin? It would make this all so much better. At the same time, I'm really confused because this guy apparently still has his old Twitter app icon. It's just not fair. I think they transitioned me over to X as well. Some people are just so lucky. Like, I reviewed, like, one meme from last week about this, like, format, basically, and now it's everywhere. There's every different type of version with every different type of country, or sometimes even just, yeah, so, yeah. Oppenheimer, after he realized his invention led to no-no anime. Ah, so he ended up happy after all. Obviously, he was sad in the beginning, and he started to see what exactly was happening to Japan and the islands. He's probably looking down on us all, um, actually kind of chill. He's like, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Guess I don't need to feel that guilty. <laughs> I don't like to think before I speak. I like to be just as surprised as everyone else about what comes out of my mouth. Literally me. Literally me. I am literally Ryan Gosling. I knew I based my whole personality off the right guy. Big thanks to my patrons. Destiny. <laughs> 9,000. Drew needs to pay his taxes. Why am I doing Karina this? Best John. Girl. Denver. I'm the kidnapper. Jack Traven's the annoying friend. Ransom. This Inquisitor. Channel's Inquisitor. By Zeris. Zeris. Good old Caleb. Ryan. Australia Australia is real. Book. I am not a paid actor. Luxembourg. Patrick Dye. Subscribe to Drew. Mexican Ralph, 7, 6, Become a patron by checking the description down below.